what's going on everyone this is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment uh, bringing you a video today on Super Bowl Sunday I uh, hope everyone's enjoying their weekend I have a real quick video that I wanted to drop today uh, I was checking uh, in the news Michigan news and saw something that was real real disheartening and could be a huge blow to uh, the season next season for Michigan football and the news that I saw was that Devin Asiasi is potentially looking to transfer out of the program. So I kind of I saw this before, thought it was just maybe a rumor, but now it's seeming like it's more uh, is more legitimate that this may happen after all. And I hope it doesn't. I mean, you know, as a fan. It's going to be a huge blow to our program. Uh, it's going to leave a whole big hole in the tight end position. I mean, of course, there's going to be guys that will be able to fill in his spot. But I saw him as being a rising star at that position. I mean, talk, you know, possibly being an All-American tight end. So I hope he stays, but we just have to wait and see. Um, the reasons I'm hearing that he's transferring are either family re related or that he's feeling homesick and I, I don't know what to say about that I do I mean this is just my own personal opinion but you know I don't know what his plans are after he plays collegiate sports but my my advice to him is man if it's personal related you need to just stick it out and, you know, just try and work through it and, you know, do what you can do while you're here at the University of Michigan. If it's football related, then I understand, do what you got to do and, you know, transfer and go to the school that you want to go to. Now, the reason I'm saying this is kind of twofold. Now, first reason is right off the bat, if he does transfer out of you know Michigan to another school, he's going to lose one year of eligibility right off the bat. So, you know, he's already played in his freshman season. He's going to be a junior by the time he's going to get to play again at whatever school he's going to play at. And, you know, losing that whole year is a huge thing. I mean, you know, you're looking at, you might lose whatever momentum you had as a player, whatever growth that you, you've had as a player, because you've been playing every single year since you started playing football up until this point. Now you're going to have a whole year without playing. So I don't know how, what that, what effect that's going to have on him. Uh, I remember Chris Chris Clark, who was you know initially supposed to come here, and then you know Brady Hope got fired and. He decided that he was going to go to UCLA instead. And then as soon as he got there, uh, you know, I guess because he was this big, big hot shot tight end and Jim Moore Jr. Uh, wasn't having any of that, that he didn't want to play there anymore. And he transferred out. And I haven't even heard about the guy anymore. So I don't know where he's playing, what he's doing. Uh, he's definitely not making his mark so that everyone's talking about him. So... That could be the story with Devin Asiasi if he decides that he's going to transfer out. He may just fade out because he's, you know, he's choosing not to play for a whole year. I mean, just part of the rules. I mean, the second major thing, though, is he just has to look at it like this. If you're, if you're homesick or there's any issues... The reason why I'm saying you need to stick this out, and I'm not just saying this because I'm a Michigan fan, Michigan fan and I want you to stay, but I'm saying this because if, you're, if your goal, if your aim is that you're going to play football at the next level, at the NFL level, then you need to get this over with as far as being homesick, if that's what the case is. Because two years from now, probably... Three, if you decide that you're going to transfer, you're going to be playing in the NFL. And chances are you're not going to be playing for, you know, the Rams or the Chargers 
or the 49ers or the Raiders. Pretty good chance that you're not going to play for any of those four organizations and you're going to be somewhere like you know, uh, Green Bay or you could be somewhere like New York or Carolina. So, or you could be at Jacksonville or, or Miami, Tampa. The point is you're going to be, you could be possibly thousands of miles away from your family anyways in the next few years. And you're not going to be able to say, I'm homesick. Uh, you know, I, w I want to trade from playing on Tampa so I can go play uh, on the Rams. It, it's just not going to happen. You're going to be a rookie. You're going to be signed to a, a contract of how many years. And that's going to be it. So if you're going to be homesick or you got issues, you might as well get through this now and be away from home. Then to go home, I guess feel better about being away from home, and then two years from now or three years from now, you got to go through this all over again. But this time it's going to be way worse. So, man, you, you just got to get through this, man, if, if, if that's what it is. Like I said, if it's football related, then I understand, you know, like meaning like if you feel that you're not going to get the playing time that you you need in order to get to the next level or you feel that the team is not uh, providing you with the proper support to get you to the next level, then by all means, do what you have to do. But if it's not that, I think that you're getting the best opportunity to succeed and excel at the NFL level. Jim Harbaugh and his coaching staff are doing everything to prepare you right now to be in the NFL. So... I, I don't see a better alternative for you than to stay in the program and, you know, try and succeed there. So, I mean, that that's all I got to say about that. Like I said, I hope you don't, you don't leave. If you do leave, I mean, I understand. But, you know, it's just going to be more difficult. It's going to be a more difficult uh, path for you, especially with losing a year of eligibility. Anyways, that's it for today. Um, you know, I'm about to go watch the Super Bowl. Uh, this time when I'm recording this, you're about maybe 30 minutes away from kickoff. I'm going to be rooting for the Patriots because I'm rooting for Tom Brady as a Michigan Wolverine. So I'm hoping that they get it done. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, definitely feel free to leave a like. Um, definitely share this video with as many people as possible. And, uh, you know, try to support... Devin Asiasi as much as possible. Maybe he just he's homesick and he just needs all the support that he needs. So, anyways, yeah, share this video with as many people as possible. And if you like my content, definitely subscribe to the channel. Anyways, thank you for watching and have a great day.